Gustin sealed the defender on her backside. And knock it down. Really, really nice ball move. An all-timer, Lauren Gustin of BYU Women's Basketball. We welcome you back to BYU SN alongside Jerem Jordan. I'm Spencer Linton. This is your day-to-day -day BYU Sports play-by-play. And you know how we plan it. We typically show the highlights of who we're about to interview. So it'd be really funny if we suddenly here was she else, is. <laughs> What's up, Lauren? How you doing? What's up? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Good to me. see you. What's it like to watch a bunch of highlights of yourself again <laughs> and again and again? Oh, it makes me miss being on the court already. So <laughs> for sure. Well, it hasn't been that long since you've been on the court. You just mm -hmm. recently competed in a college all-star game. 15 points, 15 rebounds, ho-hum, double-double, <laughs> right on yeah, your baby. average of sorts. What was that like for you to compete in the college all-star game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, not only was it fun to be back on the court, but it was fun to compete against some other really good girls and to have such um, great coaches and players around. Um, it was great vibes the whole time. And, you know, we had Leah, Aaliyah Boston right on the, the sideline. You know, Kelsey Plum was helping run our offensive sets. And, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was super fun. Uh, Cheryl Miller was your coach. Yep. One of the greatest players mm -hmm. ever. What was that like? It was awesome. Uh, she was filled with, you know, so much education and um, just hearing her, you know, talk and explain things, you can tell that, you know, she, she really does know it all. And, um, you know, really fun, fun lady, She's super funny. Um, got along <laughs> well with her, I think. Um, yeah, she, she, made, she made the game a lot of fun, so a lot of fun. What's it like for you to be recognized in that fashion by you know, notable people and to be invited to something like that. Yeah, um, it was definitely an honor. Um, I felt super privileged to be there and, uh, you know, made me appreciate BYU even more. And, you know, having the, the opportunity that I had to be able to play here and have the career that I had here um, just made me appreciate, you know, all those people that contributed to that and, uh, you know, those universities. So. Not bad for uh, someone the Big 12 didn't uh, mention on the preseason. I'm still not over it. I'm still not over we'll it. We'll never, we'll never be yeah, over yeah. that. <laughs> um, we, we saw such an explosion this season and obviously over the weekend with record-setting TV viewership in the mm -hmm. women's game, highlighted by Caitlin Clark's stardom and whatnot. What, what's it been like to see the game grow in this way over the past couple of weeks? Yeah, I think it's awesome. I think it's about time, you know. Um, I think it was just a matter of time till um, you know, everyone kind of started tuning in and whatnot. And, um... Caitlin Clark has had a huge impact on that, which it's been so fun to be able to be a part of that generation and watch that and um, see that growth, especially just from my freshman year to now my senior year. Um, I feel like the, the game has changed so much as far as, you know, people talking about it and coming and whatnot. So um, I saw that the Women's National Championship, you mm. know, had more than the men's, yep. that right? Yeah, and, and um, I'm not even surprised, honestly. Uh, I feel like this year women's basketball was talked about all over the place, so. And star power is powerful, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And these individual uh, personalities and skill sets uh, are cool. I think it'll translate into the WNBA. We've yeah. already seen it with ticket mm -hmm. prices. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Indiana Fever, like, obviously we're picking Cleveland, <laughs> jacking up the prices. Uh -huh. It's going to be a fun season there, too. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun to be able to see her carry on that, too. And hopefully you compete against her. Yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's wild. I mean, when you think about it, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese and Cardoso from South Carolina and Juju, Juju Watkins, Juju Watkins and, at, yeah. at USC. And Becker, Lauren Gustin at BYU, who is the leading You're rebounder. Star. You Let's rebounded go. better than everybody else. Um, and, and talk about competition and exposure going up. BYU going into the Big 12 certainly took an uptick there. What was it like to go from the WCC to the Big 12 now that you've gone mm -hmm. through it and it's over? Yeah, um, it's definitely a lot more, you know, intense, I feel like, in every aspect of the game. Um, you know, girls are very physical, strong, and um, talent-wise, you know, I feel like everyone on the team can go off any night, you know, um, and, you know, the coaches, all super high level and educated well, and just every practice felt more intense, too, because, you know, you're going to compete against, you know, another ranked team that week, and then, obviously, the game's um, super, super fast. Um, I thought, you know, WCC was intense my first couple years, and then going to the Big 12, it just was a whole different level. Um, obviously, girls are a lot stronger, like I had mentioned. Um, but it was so much fun to be able to compete against um, a whole different level of you know, competition and talent. And um, I'm super happy I was able to have at least one year in the Big 12. And yet you maintain those stats, which is pretty awesome. What, what's the WNBA uh, prospects for you right now since mm -hmm. the draft is coming up on Monday? Yeah, um, yeah, it's crazy, it's already here. 
Um, it happens quick. Yeah, it There's does. time for you to go to a combine or yeah, I, I don't know if you've worked out for teams or how yeah, that's really just yeah, it's it's yeah, it's crazy how quick it comes up. Um, yeah, I've so I, I entered my name into the draft um, um, a couple of days ago actually. I was a little late to the ball, um, just kind of weighing different options and whatnot, um, just you know trying to see what's the best route for me as far as you know my body and and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I mean we'll we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still considering a couple different options still sure. and whatnot, but I want to at least get my name in just to um, have that as an option. What are some of those options? Um, you know, whether I want to, you know, play in the W or maybe go overseas, mm. or if, you know, I want to maybe get into a coaching um, experience, or if I want to go a whole different route and, um, you know, maybe go back to more school for to get my master's or... You know, just a couple you different a options. options. Yeah, just, you yeah. know, going to see what I'm going to do. But I want to be able to have all the doors opened. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. It's great to be multifaceted and multi-talented. Yes, and that you are. <laughs> I would not know what Lauren, that's like. Lauren <laughs> Gustin is with us on BYU Sports Nation. What kind of feedback did you get at the College All-Star Game that mm -hmm. maybe influenced you to throw your name in the WNBA draft? Yeah, well, I think just being around um, – all those people and, and coaches and players and just hearing their experience in the W or their goals that they want to have in the W or just being around the game of basketball again and, and feeling um, all the love and, and education that all these people knew and had for basketball was, um, was super eye-opening for me. I think just being in that environment, you know, was um, appealing and, um, you know, it made, it made you, it made me inspired to want to, you know, maybe keep playing and whatnot. Um, and then just hearing, you know, we had a lot of W players there just talking about their experience and how much fun it is. And, and then um, talking to some W coaches just to hearing, you know, kind of their routine and, and the, the fun of, of that league and everything it comes with was um, that made me want to play. Yeah. And then also just being around all the girls I was with, they all have declared and um, they're all super excited and pumped. and. Um, and then being able to play again on the court, just, you know, I, I had so much fun playing again. I, I just didn't really want that to be <laughs> my last um, experience of playing. Yeah, there's part of you that is, as you mentioned, considering perhaps not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's due to, I just think, the wear and tear on my body. I feel like um, obviously the way that I like to play is very physical, right? And, and then taking that to a whole new level um, in the pros you know, I'm gonna have to up my physicality. I'm gonna have to up everything, and and just want. It feels to, like there's not a lot of space for that. Yeah. Given how hard yeah. you already go, right? I just want to make sure that yeah. my um, that my body is 100% healthy for you know whatever team yeah. that I go play for. And, and the grind of a long season. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm at you know my my best to be able to give them my best. Um, so I just gotta you know make sure the body's all healthy and then everything's good for another season so and it is tricky because you don't have a massive gap before yeah. the WNBA yeah. season right it's not mm -hmm. like you'd have an off season you'd go yeah, right exactly. into the next one yeah so just kind of seeing if everything's everything's good for for me Lauren Gustin is on BYU Sports Nation as you put on the coaching cap for a moment <laughs> okay and, ma and maybe this will be in, in your future somewhere but we like right now, we can hand right <laughs> now <laughs> what coaching advice would you give to BYU women's basketball as they try and take the next step up in Big 12 play? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a great question. Um, honestly, I would just say to keep grinding and keep working hard. Um, you know, I love those girls, and they come in every single day ready to compete and ready to fight, and that was what was so much fun playing with them is, um, you know, everyone wanted to win, and um, I would say just keep doing what you guys are doing and uh, just find ways to um, work on your weaknesses and whatnot. But... Yeah, I mean, I wish I could go out another year with them. Um, yeah. I'm excited to build the Oh, we do this too, year. Lauren. I, yeah, I <laughs> can't find another year. I'm sure there's some. Somewhere. I know. It's hard for me to let go already. I, I don't want to get out of those group chats or stop attending <laughs> things because uh, those are my girls. And just even being in the annex and the facilities feels like my like home. So it's going to be it's gonna be really hard for me to let go of all that. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm excited to be able to watch them, watch them play. And we have some great freshmen coming in and um, just being able to see different girls step up and um, see them grow and whatnot is going to be super fun. Have you played with Delaney Gibb? Uh, no, I have not. Um, 
No, I don't think I have. I, I, she's come and watched a couple um, yeah. practices and things and whatnot, yeah. but I've never been able to actually be on the court with her. She's at the Nike Hoop Summit right now with okay. Team Canada. Yeah. She's I'm coming to Provo, <laughs> baby. She's going to be a big-time player. I want to follow up on a story from Kaylee Woolston when she came in here and talked about her mission call. Mm -hmm. Is that like the funnest, weirdest thing you've ever experienced <laughs> where she just told you, just blurted out what it yeah. was to you guys um, after practice? Or yeah, something? the way she did it was very casual. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's kind of a formal yeah. thing. For yeah, a, it was right before we went to weights, yeah. and so she just kind of threw on. So all of us were just kind of like, oh, wow. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but I'm going to Baltimore. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what's so awesome about BYU is yeah. um, having girls that are willing to, you know, to go and and um, you know, be selfless and go serve God, and it's so accepted by everyone around us. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's what makes you know it's so special here is just having her say that, and all of us are just so happy for her and so excited for her and seeing yeah. her excitement. Um, just you know, kind of makes everyone's testimony grow a little mm -hmm. bit. So, mm -hmm. what what player and person like her suddenly steps away? Yeah. After a freshman year yeah. like that, that is a notable yeah. sacrifice. Yeah. No, for sure, and I think it shows um, how you know, who Keely is as a person that, you know, how much she loves God and, you know, ball is a big part of her life, but, you know, she's more than just a basketball player. Yep. So um, I think that was just showed a good example to the girls and also Cougar Nation. So sometimes you're just so excited. You got to tell people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Baltimore. That was so funny. I was like, what? You, and like, you just wanted to go on a mission a month ago. Yeah, you know, I know. It's a very quick process, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, Lauren, you've had so many great experiences, mm -hmm. memories, games at BYU. What's one or two that stick out top of mind when you look back on all the things you experienced mm -hmm. in games as a BYU basketball player? Yeah. Um, well, just this past season, I would say our game at home against Baylor oh. was so much fun. That was epic. <laughs> that was epic. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that was such a fun game, just being so connected with, I feel like all of us were just connected and everything was flowing right for us. And um, just to be able to come out and compete like that and um, kind of feel all the work come together was, that was so much fun. And just be able to have such a big win at our home place, you know, I think that was huge for us and got us some momentum rolling into, you know, our next couple games. So that was always going to be a top memory for me just because of, of everything that came with that game. Um, obviously my, my rebounding game where we got that board, that was just a special moment to be able to have with my teammates after the game. Um, just feeling all that love and support from everyone was, was super big. And um, yeah, that, that made me appreciate everyone, mm -hmm. you know, so much more. And um, if I look at, you know, back in the, in the past seasons um, that our, our win against Rutgers, mm -hmm. the first yes. round, that yes. one was always um, going to be a top memory for me too. just be able to experience that with, you know, those girls are having that upset feeling and having that be the first, um, you know, NCAA tournament that I had gone to was, I was always going to be a big memory. So. <laughs> that was awesome. Great stuff, man. Mm -hmm. You've experienced a lot of great things. Uh, we appreciate all you've done for BYU and BYU Athletics, mm -hmm. and we wish you the best moving forward. Can't wait to see what happens. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thank you Lord. for everything.